Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're back on some Forza Horizon 4. Back with the new season. It just came out like a minute ago or a couple of minutes ago. Oh, would you look at that? I'm literally in the Mitsubishi Eclipse. I honest, I swear to God, before I even started this, I was in the Mitsubishi Eclipse just driving around and then I somehow managed to choose the right car for this week's uh, Forza Town Challenges. Anyway, that's kind of funny. Um, big, big thing here is it got rid of my house again. Uh, I'm not sure you guys that. So, 2009 Mercedes SL65 AMG Forza Edition is here. I mean, I have all of these. Uh, literally all of them, except for this, this this legendary suit thing, which I don't really care for at the moment. But, what we're here to do in this video is have a look at the cars that were added into... Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Go to the DLC cars. Let's see what sort of DLC cars we got in this week. Um, we got a Ford Transit from 1965, and we have a Ford Mustang GT2 Plus to... Fastback. I really want to see what that looks like real quick here. So let's go over to Ford and let's have a look at that Mustang because I think that might be a really, really cool car. I can't see it. Here it is. That looks sick. I've always loved the Fastback Mustang. The Fastback Mustang is unreal looking. Just obviously the rear end that makes this thing a Fastback. Just makes it. Oh, oh it's just so nice. It's so, so nice looking. That is one pretty car. I really, really like that. Now, since uh, since we got this Mustang, I'm, I'm not going to do anything to it right now. But what I will do is I'm going to show you guys how to get something kind of cool as well in uh, in today's video. And it's uh, one of the new cars that has been added into the game. And I'm pretty sure it's this event right here, if from what I've read correctly, it is this event. If I go over to it, you guys can get a pretty cool new car added into the game. Which is... Dun, 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 dun. Where is it? Come on, show me it. The Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. I'm happy that this is back in the game now. I really want to go ahead and mess around with it and see what it's like. Oh, so. The season of new life and new beginnings. Okay. Oh, and new championships, of Wait, course. Wait, real quick. I didn't realize what I have to do. So what is the what is the thing here? Just complete it against expert driver tires. Easy enough. Hot hatches. Um, I don't really have anything that's properly built for this. I mean, I have the Honda Civic. That's pretty much it. I have two of those. Um, I mean, this is the only thing that's all we drive. Uh, I think for off-road events, I think this would be alright. But, I mean, this we're not really going that fast, to be completely honest, for all these. So, might as well just choose the Civic. So, Championship is here. You guys saw where it is on the map. I'm just going to go ahead and do this and then just finish it off. And uh, I want to drive the Mustang. I want to see what that Mustang is like. The Hot Wheels Mustang in this game. Especially with the slightly different physics to Horizon 3. And obviously different physics to Forza Motorsport 7. So... Uh, yeah, it is on expert. I'm gonna do these really quickly. I don't need to set it any higher because I don't really need extra money. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this real quick and I will be right back. Okay, final race complete. That is the championship done. Um, the first couple of races actually took quite a while to do. Not because I had to redo them or anything, it's just because they were actually kind of long. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get this done and over with. I'm sure try to skip this. There it is. There it is. The Hot Wheels Ford Mustang. This is this is easily my favorite Hot Wheels car, just because it's like a modern rendition of a of a just a normal car, pretty much. But it's a Hot Wheels version of a normal car, um, but it's a fairly modern car, and I really really like that. That's why I really like this Mustang. I was actually kind of looking forward to to getting it before this. I've seen it, I think, leaked before in in pictures and stuff like that, and we knew that this car was actually going to be coming, but I never actually ended up. Um, I never actually ended up uh, like looking for it or anything like that, so it's kind of sick that uh, that they decided to add this back into the game again. So obviously this is the return of this Mustang because it was in the games previously in Forza Horizon 3, I think is when they first started putting these guys in um, with the Hot Wheels expansion, and then they brought them out in Forza Motorsport 7 as well. So now they're back in Forza Horizon 4. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's have a look at this thing. I want to see what it's like. Where is it? Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. There it is. 2005. Yeah? Is that what it says? I don't think it's... it's yeah, it is. 2005. Hot Wheels Mustang. How cool is this? How sick is this car? That looks brilliant. I really, really like this. A lot. Like, I really, really like this Mustang. That is absolutely brilliant. Oh man, I this is such a cool car. Such a cool car. There's so many things about it that I really, really like. I don't even know where to start. 
I love the whole kit on it. I like that it's a Hot Wheels car, but it still looks like a normal car overall. Like, it's not just fully fully modified, like the Twin Mill or something like that. It's not, like, that insane or that crazy. Um, what can we do to this car? What can we do to it? Is there anything that we can change now? We can put a 5.2 liter V8. We can put a 7.2 racing V8 as well in it. Um, eh, I don't know if I want to do any of that to it at the moment. I kind of want to drive this thing stock. 504 horsepower. It's not really that great. Um, it is rear wheel drive, so we might have a little bit of slidey action going on here, which is all right. I think it's standard on race tires. We can't change the tire compound at all on it. Um, we can uh, change a bunch of other things to it, obviously, as you can see. As for suspension, we can't change the suspension at all on it either. So very, very interesting. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no chance of me making this thing or turning this thing into a drift car unless I decide to just leave it the way it is at the moment. Um, but yeah. Okay, so first gear, really short. Second gear, not that short. This is nice. I like this. We got the Mustang back in the game. We got the Hot Wheels Mustang back in the game. Can we slide this thing? Oh, we can. Doesn't really want it too much. I feel like the... The diff is trying to prevent us from sliding this thing. It actually doesn't even drive that bad. Like, going into corners and stuff, it actually isn't that bad at all. Okay, very interesting. Saying that means that, like, I kind of want to... Like, at first I kind of wanted to... I kind of wanted to get this thing to slide, but... We can't put drift suspension on it. So we can't get that extra angle. But this actually drives kind of nice. I don't know how I feel about giving this thing so much more power. But going around corners and stuff like that, it's very, very agile. It's super, super, like it turns in super, super tight. I think this might be a pretty decent car to, to drive around with if I give it a little bit of extra power. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the festival. I know I could have just gone into my menu and gone back to the festival. Uh, I'm going to add more power to this thing. Uh, I'm also going to make our rear tires as thick as possible because, or as wide as possible, I should say not as thick. Um, well, as wide as possible because I will end up, like I said, giving this thing pretty much the beans. So put that engine in it. I'll keep it as a rear wheel drive. I will twin turbo it though. I think now we will have a little bit of a traction issue with this car. Uh, we can have 335s on the, rear, on the rear end, which is fine. I'm not going to change the wheels or anything like that. I'm going to keep the exterior of this pretty much the way it is at the moment. Um, but handling-wise, this thing is really good. You can, you can even see in the stats, it's got a 9.5 uh, handling stat there, which is really, really good. It's really, really good. So, finishing, finishing this thing off, I can't speak. 1,356 horsepower, 1,480 kilos. Um, what about the other engine? What's the other engine like? The 5.2 V8, if we twin turbo that. Um, what sort of power can we squeeze out of that? Probably not as much as the racing engine, I'd say, but I'm going to test it out anyway just to see. Um, and I also think that the standard engine that we have in it now, I think it's supercharged, if I remember correctly. Um, so if I do this, 1,000 horsepower, 1,500 kilos, so yeah, and then with the standard engine, um, if I go and I check that, it is, it is supercharged. I am right. I remember this. I remember this. It's, it's all coming back to me from the previous games. So I'm, I'm just trying to see how much power every single engine kind of makes. Uh, and torque and all that sort of stuff. But it looks like the racing engine is the best choice for, uh, for getting the most amount of power out of it. Uh, as for the lightness, I feel like it's also the lightest engine out of all these. 1,490 kilos for this one. Alright, so I'm going to put the, uh, the racing V8 in it. I'm going to turbo it. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pretty much put everything in it that I possibly can. Getting this thing to a 9.3 for speed. 1,480 kilos, 1,356 horsepower. What is our top speed with this thing? Because we can, um, we can have a fairly decent amount of power. Uh, but this thing does have a lot of like aero to press it down into the ground, so I don't know how that's going to actually work uh, or translate into our top speed. Was well, just uh, I can see 251 miles per hour is not that bad. 251 is not bad at all. If I change this to speed, like I said, a lot of this has or this guy has a lot of stuff to sort of slow it down. 
258 miles per hour. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to see if I can do like a top speed run with this thing. It is lifted as high as possible off the ground. This is the setup on it right now. You guys can see it's pretty much pretty much stock. Um, let's see. I'll do like a little top speed run with it, and then um, and then I'll change the thing to, or the the arrow on it and try to see if I can get this thing to go around corners a little faster. So it's a lot different now, going from the spot. When it comes to acceleration, it is still fairly quick. Obviously, because we changed the engine and our transmission to the fully customizable one, our ratios changed, so it doesn't it doesn't act the same. I have a lot more power going through the rear wheels this time. This thing can definitely not drift. You can see how easily it just lost control there. I want to see what the top speed of this thing is, because um, it's got the power to do some stupid speed. If I can squeeze out 260 with this thing, I think I'll be happy. Um, even if I don't change any of my, my transmission settings or anything like that. Because by the looks of things, I feel like this car won't be able to do a lot. Uh, top speed wise, but... I'll give it a shot anyway. I may be wrong. I could be wrong. As for taking corners at high speeds, it's... Uh, it's still sticking to the floor. Like, I can... I can turn very well in this thing. Avoid traffic pretty well. 250 with ease. Okay. Squeezed out a nice 259. It's still going. 257. It's really, really flat. I like how good this thing takes corners and stuff. I really like that. Especially high speed corners. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mess with my arrow again. Just bring it back. To the way it was before, or maybe even further into cornering. Let's just go all the way to cornering this time, actually. Um, I'm going to try that and uh, see how much of a difference that actually makes. Obviously, top speed is going to go down a lot, but what is it going to be like in corners? Without me messing with any of this tune, just pretty much messing with that. Um, let's go on a nice little section here, uh, somewhere in the hills, somewhere in the mountains here, and uh, drive it. I want to see what it's like around some, some corners. Obviously, if I bring it down to the bottom, I could actually try some faster corners, which may be a better idea, because this is... This is stupidly powerful, so going around like tight corners like this, I don't think it would work out too well for this guy. I like this thing. I like the way it drives. I think it's nice. Brakes are good as well. Oh god, there's that power. There's that power just slipping the rear wheels. This is nice to drive, man. This is really, really nice. I like this. The Hot Wheels Mustang. Oh, there it is. There's that power. If I just keep my foot down. The rear wheels just lose it. So I gotta be careful with the way I accelerate out of corners and stuff. Overall, it's a nice car to drive. It really is, even with all this power. I honestly expected it to be a little bit more wild than what it is now, but... It's very controllable. Very, very easy to control. I just have to be kind of careful. I, I know I'm... I'm going off and stuff like that. I'm just putting way too much... Way too much power down. All at once. And that's just my fault. It's not the way the car is. It's nice. It's really nice. Well, I guess that's it. This is the Hot Wheels Mustang and how to get it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little video of uh, of this thing. There's no chance I'll be able to slide this thing. I th if anybody can can manage to somehow do it too for this guy to slide it, I'll perfectly be happy and try to try this thing out. I could turn this thing into an all-wheel drive. Maybe then I can slide it a little bit better. Even as a rear-wheel drive, if I do decide to slide it, I will be able to slide it. It's just... I won't be able to do it while it's, uh, while it's got the, uh, what you call it? <laughs> while it's got the, the normal suspension on it, it just won't be able to, to be good at drifting, even with all-wheel drive. Alright, well, I'm gonna stop there. Thank you guys very much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you uh, enjoyed this one, don't forget to like it, share it, do whatever you guys want to do. But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And that's how you get the Hot Wheels Mustang. Goodbye.